Hey, and welcome back to Bane's Bites. I'm Bane. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite things to make, meatloaf. You gotta love it, you grew up with it. If you haven't had it, I don't know what's going on, but you gotta be sure you give it a try, and this is just the way I make it. We're gonna be throwing it on the Traeger and smoking it pretty low and glazing it with some barbecue sauce. You can do this at home without the barbecue, you can do this in your oven, however you wanna do it. You can do it in a pan, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need is your basic vegetables that I like to put in there. I've got some of these out here and ready to go. We've got four cloves of garlic, and we're just gonna throw these into a food processor because I don't wanna sit here and do a small dice on all this stuff. I've got one stalk of celery. Just chunk it into pieces and throw it in there. I've got half of a yellow onion. Again, I'm just gonna cut it into pieces and we'll throw it right in the food processor. And finally, I've got some baby carrots because that's what we had around. You can use just a stick, a carrot stick if you wanna do that instead, but We'll throw some carrots in here as well. And we're just gonna chop these up into little fine pieces. So now that we've got our veggies all chopped up, it didn't take but just a second, I've got one pound of ground beef. We're gonna put this into a big mixing bowl along with a pound and a half of ground pork. Wash my hands, now we're gonna take the veggies that we chopped up, and you can chop these by hand. You can make them bigger or smaller, whatever size you like, but I find this is a good texture for a meatloaf. Get all these dumped in there, scrape it out good, get all the goodies. Now we've got our meat, we've got our veggies. Got two eggs I'm gonna crack in here. Wash my hands, and we'll keep going. Now to our meatloaf mixture, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, I'd say, of Worcestershire sauce. That'll be good. Now what I do with mine is a little bit different is I add chili sauce. It's kind of like ketchup but not quite. It's just got a little bit more spice to it. And I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup. Just gives it a different flavor. I find it works really, really well. I've got some Meat Church Holy Gospel or any kind of barbecue rub or you can just use salt and pepper. And I'm only going to add about a tablespoon in here, maybe, maybe two teaspoons. Not too much, because we're going to season it on the outside later. And I've got panko breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs or crushed up crackers, but I really like panko in my meatloaf. So I'm going to add about a cup of panko. We can always adjust this later to get it right where I want it. So I'll take my rings off, and here comes the fun part. You just got to dig in and get it all mixed up. Now when you're doing this, though, don't overmix it. You don't want to overwork a meatloaf. You want it to just be combined and integrated together. If you overmix it, it's gonna be kind of tough towards the end. That chili sauce smells really good. It's a little soft still, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit more breadcrumbs, maybe, maybe a quarter cup. All right, that feels good. That looks good. Perfect. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll show you how we're gonna paint it up. So now that we've got our meatloaf made up, it's ready to make into the actual loaf form. And some people do it in a loaf pan or some people do it just in a big blob. However you like to do it, I encourage you to do it your way, but I'll show you how I like to do it. So I'm gonna take a big piece of our meatloaf, probably gonna use about half this batch. I'll lay it down right here, just kind of center it. And now what I'm gonna do is on this parchment paper, I'm gonna roll it up into a log. I'll kind of shape it and roll it tight. And then reset it. Try to get it as even as I can. And I'm gonna grab these ends and twist it up. Just like that. Now I've got the other half of the meat down. I'm gonna do the same thing. Roll it up in parchment and twist it tight. Like a big big meat Tootsie roll. <laughs> Now that we've got our logs ready, we're gonna put them back in the fridge for half an hour to an hour, kind of let them sit, let that breadcrumb mixture in there kind of absorb some of the moisture. I'm gonna go get the Traeger fired up. I'm gonna fire it up to 225 degrees. These have been sitting in the fridge for about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. We're gonna slowly unroll them and I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of Meat Church Holy Gospel, get them seasoned on all sides and we'll go out there and throw them on the Traeger. Now before I roll it out, I'm going to season this bottom side, and then I can flip it over and season the top side. Wash my hands and we'll go put them on the grill. So to keep an eye on the internal temperature, we want to get them to 160 degrees to make sure they're safe via USDA. But I did stick one of my meter probes in there and I can watch it as they cook. I'm going to set them on there for about 45 minutes and let them go. 
And after 45 minutes, I'm gonna get some of my favorite barbecue sauce and a basting brush and just go out there and brush them with barbecue sauce every 45 minutes until we get up to 160 degrees. So let's get them on. All right, so that's it. It's been four hours. I pulled the smaller of the two meatloaves off. The other one's got about another 20 minutes according to my meter app, but we'll see how that's going. Uh, it looks amazing. It smells delicious, and I can't wait to try it. We let it sit out and kind of rest for a few minutes, so let's dig into this thing, slice it up, add some barbecue sauce, and see just how we did. All right, that's it. We are all set. This smells incredible. That chili sauce really is coming through. Good veggie combo, that mirepoix, the celery, carrot, onion, with a little bit of garlic. It smells amazing. It smells like a good smoked meatloaf. So let's get a bite right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I've made many a meatloaf in my life and I've always done them in the oven. I've never actually gotten the chance to smoke a meatloaf. Now I've gotten meatloaf right to where I want it. Just like this, you guys make it at home, cook it in your oven, keep it in that parchment, let it cook right in there. It's amazing. I've done that many, many times, but I'll tell you what, if you can, smoke it low and slow, about 225 for a good four hours until it hits 160, and it's just so much better. This is incredible. I can tell you right now, brisket down here, she is dying to dig into the meatloaf, but <clears throat> regardless, I appreciate y'all checking out the video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let us know down in the comments. As always, hit like if you like what we're doing, and definitely hit subscribe if you want to see what's coming out next, because we've got a whole ton of fun stuff coming out here pretty soon. But as always, y'all have a great day. And it's time for me to chow down on some smoked meatloaf because I can't wait. Seriously though, I can't wait. This is just so good. You gotta come try this one.